Hey guys, so it's been a minute since I've done a vlog where I've just like talked and kind of updated you guys about, I don't know, just like my life and shit. And um, I've been going through some things and I was like, you know what, instead of holding in, holding on to it and not really talking about it, I might as well just talk about it. It's kind of what I started my YouTube channel doing. Surprisingly, I didn't start my YouTube channel doing hacks and DUIs, DIYs, D whatever's, you know what I mean. I started just talking about my life, so I guess I'm gonna do that today. Well, I talked about it a little on, on my podcast. I was definitely never gonna talk about this in videos, but I, I feel like it's kind interesting especially I know a lot of you guys are dealing with um, like sexuality or coming out or expressing yourself or whatever so I think maybe this would be a little interesting so dating <laughs> it's interesting dating girls is very easy for me not easy for that sounds very like <laughs> I got a big dick that's not what I mean what I mean is I know how to do that I know how to take a girl out make her feel special be the man pay for things open the doors say the right things I, I know how to do all of that and it's pretty natural for me it's pretty like not that I've had a lot of girlfriends or not that I've dated a lot but there's so something in my blood that's like that is very natural for me maybe it's because I've seen a lot of movies I don't know dating guys is very different and it's something nobody warned me about or told me about therapist friends nobody everybody's like yeah shane live this new life and do your thing and try dating guys and just do whatever you want to do it's gonna be great but nobody was like hey this is a whole new world a bunch of dicks and they're all scary it's it and let me, okay, where do I start? And this is why I'm talking about this because I feel like it might be interesting to people who are debating whether or not they should date their own gender. If you're a guy and you start dating a guy and you don't know how to do that, it can turn into a friendship very fast, especially for me because, you know, for me, I am, I wouldn't say I'm like shy or anything, but it does take me a minute to warm up like sexually. I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna have sex on the first date. I'm not a casual sex person. Um, it takes a lot for me to get there uh, because I have trust issues and because I'm, I don't know, it just takes a lot. So because I don't lead with my sexual foot, if you will, I kind of lead with my personality and my conversation and my jokes and and it can turn into like a friendship, very fat to the point where the first date is like, oh, now we're best friends. And you know what you don't want to do? Fuck your best friend. You don't want to do that. <laughs> so I've been experiencing this thing where like I'll date a guy and I'll be like and on paper I'm like this is great like you know th th we're attracted to each other and we have all the same interests and this is great and then like very very quickly it's like and we're friends and we don't want to do anything because we're friends and it's heartbreaking because I don't know how to not do that I mean it, I guess it just takes time I don't want to jump into dating situation with a guy and just be like okay I'm not gonna be funny and I'm not gonna to be myself and I'm gonna like put up walls and I'm gonna try to be like sexy and then I'm gonna be like oh yeah mm, fuck like I don't I don't do that so I guess I'm just gonna have to keep dating until I find the right person or and I do need to start dating girls again I don't know I just feel like I need to start dating more in general because I've not been on that many and uh I'm extremely picky, not even looks wise. I'm not a shallow person. I prefer flaws, I love it. Give me flaws, give me, give me flaws, give me scars, give me, give me back fat. Like I love anything problems, <laughs> problematic, you know, I look for that. I was on Tinder and I saw a, a guy with a fucking poop bag and I was like, yes, swipe right on that shit bag. Like I want people who are flawed and interesting and different. I, I cause I am, you know, I have scars. I am fucked up. What was I talking about? Shit bags, my scars. Oh yeah. So for me, I need to maybe be less picky. Or no, no, I don't know. I need to go on more dates because I need to get more comfortable in the dating life, in the dating situation. I'm 27, you know, hopefully in three years, I'll meet somebody who I am really into, boy, girl, whatever, that I'll wanna be married and, and stuff. I'm not there yet. I mean, I was with Lisa, she's the best. So, I mean, it doesn't get better than that as far as like wifey material. You know, it didn't work out, but that's hard to live up to. Why am I talking about this? <laughs> I don't know, whatever, I'm gonna keep going. You guys might think it's interesting. So yeah, it's it's definitely weird. There's other weird things too with this dating as a, as a YouTuber, which is new for me, because I've always talked to people about it, your YouTubers about it. Like, there's this thing where people around my age on the apps, the Tinders and stuff, I don't know whether or not to say like who I am, because if they say like, oh, what do you do for a living I'm like a writer because I do I mean I wrote a book like I don't know I don't want to be like a youtuber because that was me on the other end of that I'd be like okay bye like that would be scary if I don't want it I don't want every day to be a challenge 
literally. But it is weird because like, you know, you'll start talking to somebody and I'll start like feeling like I have a connection with somebody. And I'm like, oh, this is nice. Like I'm talking, we're talking back and forth, whatever. And they're like, oh, what do you do for a living? And I'm like, I'm a writer. They're like, me too, this is crazy. And then like, you're talking, talking, talking. And then like slowly but surely you find out that not only do they know who you are, but they're like following you on Twitter and following you on Instagram. And like, they know everything about you. And this has happened to me like three times where I've been like, oh, a, a stranger who I'm connecting with. And then they have lied and they actually know who I am. And they probably only swiped because they're like, oh, it's Shane. I don't know how to deal with that. This is not relatable at all probably to most of you guys, but it's definitely interesting. And I've seen YouTubers on apps. So it's weird, like swiping and seeing like your YouTube friends is kind of weird, especially, this is a little bit of tea for you, especially some of these YouTubers on these apps, like they connect their Instagram to them, which is embarrassing. So it's like you go on Tinder and then you'll see like their picture and then you'll see like their Instagram where it's like 5 million followers and you're like, really queen. And this, by the way, I've seen both guys and girl YouTubers do this. And then it'll say like in their bio, it's like, I just film my life and millions of people watch my crazy adventures. Do you want to be a part of my adventure? I'm like, oh my God, you want to be alone forever. <laughs> like that's awful. Fuck. Oh, so yeah, that's another thing I don't know how to do. Date as a YouTuber. I got, I've, I've been lucky so far, you know, I, I, and I talked about this on my podcast, so whatever, this isn't, this isn't new news. I, I was in a relationship with a guy for maybe five months or something, and it ended semi-recently. And, um, you know, he knew who I was, but he wasn't a fan. He knew who I was. He's like, oh yeah, I've seen your face on things and on the internet, but like, I, I don't really watch YouTube. And to me, it was like, that was an honest answer. And I was like, okay, cool. And you know, and I dated somebody recently who, uh, it was the same thing. It was like, oh, no, I know who you are, but I'm not like, I don't watch YouTube or whatever. And, and not that I have anything against people who watch YouTube, because obviously I'm on YouTube. It's just hard. Like, it's hard to have a first date when they already know you. You know what I mean? Like, if me, okay, for example, if me and you went on a date, whoever is watching this right now, it's not fair, really, because you know so much about me and I don't know anything about you. So it would be very one-sided and it would be like, you wouldn't have a chance to like fall in love with me or get to know me or like have a first impression because you know everything. Does that make sense? I don't know how like actual famous people do it because I'm not famous, but how do like actual famous people date? I don't know. It's weird. I know there's a dating app for famous people. I would never, first of all, <laughs> I would get rejected, but I don't think I'd want to date a famous person. I think that sounds awful. I don't know where we're going with this. Hopefully this was semi-interesting. I don't know. I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm in a weird place right now, kind of. Not, I'm in an exciting place. I'm trying to pretend like it's exciting. I'm in a place where I'm ready to date more and I'm ready to open myself up more. I've been pretty closed off for a while. Even in my last relationship, not Lisa, but after that, I was pretty closed off. I don't think I was comfortable being with a guy completely. And it was a really nice guy. And you know, all of the things were there on paper, you know, it all made sense, but for some reason it just didn't feel right. And I think it's cause I wasn't ready for it. I don't know. It's interesting. It's, it's sad because I'm 27, you know? So I guess another reason I'm making this video is to say to you guys, if you're younger, you know what? It's never too late to figure your shit out, but the sooner the better. If you're 17, 18 and you're trying to figure your shit out and you're like, am I gay? Am I bi? What am I? Am I a boy? Am I a girl? And start figuring it out now. Really start delving into it now because you could end up being me at 27, almost 30, just figuring it out. And it's scary. It's, I'm excited I'm doing it, but it's scary. So anyways, I'll keep you guys posted. I mean, not really. I'm not going to be like, so I went on a date. Like, I'm not going to do that. I'll keep you posted on like how I eventually get more comfortable with this weird dating world. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's random talk. I love you. And uh, yeah, leave a comment letting me know, uh, I don't know, what your thoughts are on all of this whatever I talked about. If you're gay, how do you, how did you deal with dating the same gender? Like, did it feel hard at, the, at first? Was it confusing? And uh, if you're not gay or if you're not bi or whatnot, have you ever thought about it? Like, what would that be like? I don't know. It's interesting. I haven't really heard that many people talk about that. All right, I'm gonna go. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. I already worked out today. And by workout, I mean, I just filmed my Oreo video. So I feel like I don't need to do this. I'm doing it for you. Y'all wanted this. Actually, no, you didn't. Nobody asked me to do this. I'm doing this to myself.